Hey YouTube, so I've been getting a ton of messages regarding what I use in my videos and how I get that uh, chickmunk voice. So, first of all, the program I use is called um, Windows Movie Maker. And basically, you can make a bunch of videos and it's a simple program to use. It's easy to figure out. Um, and sometimes, I actually use one of Windows Movie Maker's effects to make my chickmunk voice. It's called Speed Up Double. If you like, if you're looking under the flex, it's just Speed Up Double. That will um, speed up your whole video, obviously, and then it makes you, it just gives you a high-pitched voice if you're talking. That's what I use. Sometimes Speed Up Double, I don't like using it because it makes it, it's cool to see everything fast, but sometimes you don't really understand it. So I go, I also use. Um, a program called Audacity, and I got that online for free. And basically, what you do is you plug in a mic to your computer, and you start talking. And then, when you're done, you go to effects, pitch. You go to effects, then you go to pitch, and then change your pitch however high or low you want it. Um, it's really fun to use. When I barely got it, I had like my brother and sister, and my dad even, just all saying different things. And it's funny how different your voice sounds. So I really like using that. And what you do if you do use Audacity, you're going to have to save the, um, it only, it's audio only, it's not like a video editing for you. So you're going to have to save that audio, whatever you talk, whatever you, like whatever you talk, whatever you said. You have to save that as an audio. I usually save it to my desktop so I can find it. And then you're going to put that onto whatever video editing program you're using. Um, and then... I'll show you, or I'll try to show you right now, how to do it. Okay, this little icon right here is Audacity. I got it online for free, like I said. So, once you have it downloaded, it, downloaded, you're going to open it. Um, it's a really easy program to use. I don't know if you can see this, so I'm trying to make it work. Okay, so you plug a mic into your computer, and then this is the record button, obviously. You're going to hit record. And whatever you say on the mic, you can change to a chipmunk voice like this. So I'm going to hit stop. You have, it's weird, you have to click this. It has to be highlighted before you can change, before you can change the effect. The effect. Sorry if my camera's shaking because it's like on top of like all these books in order to let you be able to see it. But anyway, go to effect, change pitch. And I always like changing it to 30, 33 maybe. You can preview it if you want. Obviously, the higher the number, the higher pitch you'll get, and the lower, like the negative numbers, because there's negative numbers, that will give you a low voice. Um, so you can just mess around with it. You click OK, and then you click Play. And whatever you say in the mic, you can change to chipmunk voice like this. So that's how I change into chipmunk voice. Now let me show you how you add a song. So you're going to go to um, project, import audio, and the song I'm going to import is, maybe a few of you will recognize it, so then you click it again, you go to fed, change pitch, I like that pitch, you play it, make sure you like it, So that sounds fine. I'm going to file, export as wave, and then I'm going to title it, and save it. So um, I don't need this anymore. And all I did was drag the song onto the Zoom Maker, and it's right here. And I dragged this song down here. Again, this clip right here is the audio from the video. You find that by clicking this plus sign right next to the video. And then this is the audio song. So basically what you want to do is make sure that they're the same. So you just play it. And they're basically not. Um, what I usually do is you can kind of tell because you could see that it's the same song so it should be the same sort of timeline. And 
Okay, so that's close enough. Okay, and then you're going to go click the right click the audio. You're going to mute. So now this is a white line. When, oh, it's just a straight line. When it's a straight line, that means that the clip is muted. So you want the video clip muted so you only hear the audio. And then you click play. And it should look. Okay, so basically that's how you use Vastity. Then you save it. This is easy. You go to show storyboard. Click that. It shows you your clips. I only have one video, so no one. You go to view video effects right here. See right there? And then you're going to scroll until you find when it says speed up double, which is usually, it's like an alphabetical order. So speed up double is right here. You drag it into this little star, and it should speed it up, which makes the actions and everything fast. Like this. So that's fun because it speeds everything up and that's basically two options you have. A lion chicken mama voice. I'll put the link in this in that like bar, whatever sidebar thing you on the bottom. Yeah, I'll put the link to Audacity there where you can download it for free. After this we yeah, haven't had any problems yet with it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Please continue. And please leave me comments because I love, like, questions and stuff, because I love to, I love to answer them for you. Thank you.